What is up y'all? It's Dre the Bad back with another video. And as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a story time on how I got into a Disney audition scam. Before I get into this video though, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and become a little baddie because if you haven't already what is you doing come on now become part of the family so let's rewind back to about sixth grade my y'all i'm in ninth now so this is about three years ago all right so sixth grade i'm in the car with i can't even remember who we in the car we chilling whatever right and then we change the station Hit a radio go. Do you want to be a star? Do you want to be the next big actor? Dress up and show them you can be the next big thing. Da 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 da. Da da da. So, I'm listening to this and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna be an actress. Oh my god, I'm gonna be famous. Da da da. I'm getting all excited, yo. Then I'm going to my mom. I'm like, oh my god, mom, 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 call this number, call this number. And she's like, what is he talking about? I'm like, mom. I'm about to be famous. I'm about to be in my bag. Like, come on, call them. Call them, please. And so she called them. She's sitting there on the phone. They put her on hold for the longest time. So then they finally answer. And they tell her the location, the time you got to be there. You got to get dressed up. The lines you got to say, all that stuff, right? All that. So then she's like, all right, but who going to take you? I'm like, mom. I got all this planned out. I had all this in my head because I wasn't ready for this. Like, I wanted this, y'all. Y'all don't understand. So then, first thing I do, Dad, you like, what you want? So, can you take me to a Disney audition? You like, Disney audition? Huh? I'm like, yeah, then I'm going to be famous. But can you take me to a Disney audition? So then he like, all right, bet, whatever. He take the day off work that, you know, it's supposed to take place. So then he like, all right, I'm going to take you, da-da-da. We all good. We all good. So then, I wrote these lines down, and I was practicing them for, like, that whole two weeks I probably had before the thing happened, right? I'm talking about first thing in the morning. I wake up, I'm brushing my teeth, reading the lines. I'm eating, reading the lines. I wrote them down, took them to school. I was in class reading the lines. Like, y'all thought I was playing. I was serious about that. That goes on for about two weeks. And my own, they had me reading a hair product commercial. And I'm like, what does this got to do with Disney Channel? They had me read a hair product commercial. I'm like, okay. But I didn't question it because I'm like, you know what? It don't even matter. I'm about to be famous. It don't even matter. So then the day get there, right? I get all dressed up. I have my little fit on. And then I had my hair pressed, had the curls and all that. I already know. I was cute. <laughs> Abraz on fleek, the fuck? Man, y'all, my makeup back then was literally just an eyeshadow, just done. And some lip gloss. So then, my dad come pick me up, and I'm sitting in the car rereading the lines. I'm a little bit nervous, you know, but I'm like, it's gonna be all good. We get to the hotel. That hotel was big, y'all, like, big. <laughs> so we go in there, and... It's two doors, like, you know, the front door, and it's another door to lead to the lobby. We go through that second door. I see all them people in there. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, uh -huh. whoa. Okay. Whoa. Won't expect all them people at all. I don't know what I was expecting, but it won't all them people. So my dad, like, you good? You, you all right? You ready? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who ain't ready? I got this. <laughs> Listen. So, they had us, like, separate that ages. So, the age group I was in was, like, nine years old up to something. I don't even know. So, we go in this other room. They have us sit in the chairs and all that. And then, we have to watch this video. The video come on, and the first thing you see is them, them people from Austin and Alley. Which, y'all, that show is really bomb. But, anyway. We watched this show, the video, and they show these people from, like, Austin and Allie and Jesse and all that. And I'm like, okay.
okay, okay. So I'm gonna be working with these people. So I'm gonna be up there, okay. But then I noticed something. They never mentioned once the company that was holding the audition. That's suspicious. That's weird. But I was like, whatever, it's okay. Throw it to the side. We're going to throw it to the side. It don't even matter. You know why? Because your girl about to get in her bag. That was all I was set on, yo. I was like, your girl about to be rich, rich. Then they like, all right, get in line. So I get in the line. I got about five people in front of me. Which gave me time to like, get ready, calm down, think it all through. And I was like, all right, I got this. I got this. Then... This lady gonna get up and talk about, oh yeah, everyone, by the way, if you have a grade below C, leave. Why? Why are you saying that dumb ass shit? Well, I tell y'all, my heart stopped. I did not come all the way out here from my house, practice them lines for two weeks for you to say that. No. There was no going back at that point. Because your girl had a D in one class. When I tell y'all, I saw about three people take that walk of shame and had to leave out the room. I was like, I, 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 not me. I ain't about to no walk of shame out this room. No. So, everybody else had a turn. It's finally my turn. My heart is beating. My heart going boom, 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 boom. My heart is beating. I felt like a whole criminal or something. Like, I really did something bad. So then... I go up to the lady, and I'm smiling and stuff. I'm looking all cute. I'm like, hi, my name's Shandrea James. And, I say, and I'm doing my little thing, you know, trying to look cute, trying to be all sweet. And first thing she asked me, so what's your grades looking like? Child. I felt like I was really doing something wrong. But I was like, oh, you know, I got some A's, some B's, let's see here and there. But I'm doing pretty good. I'm really good at school. And it's like she felt that I was lying. Like, she, I don't know how she could tell. It's like she knew I was lying. She just looked at me some type of way. She's like, you sure? You sure? You doing good? You sure? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm doing really good. I'm like, I love school. This cap! Put this cap! Put this cap! So then she like, okay, okay. Well, go ahead. Say your lines, honey. So I calm down. I'm like, all right, she believe me. We good. We good. So then I go ahead and say my lines or whatever. You know, I do my thing. I say the little hair part commercial. I'm sitting there like, like smiling the whole time, looking all cute or whatever. And then I finish and she's like, okay, you can leave. She said it in the rudest way too. She's like, okay, you can leave. Hang on. You could be a little nicer about it. But anyway. Ciao. Anyway, so. So then me and my dad leave out. And he like, how you think you do? You think you did all right? You think you did, did good? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think he liked me. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. All right, home was really quiet. And that's just because my heart was pounded on the inside. Not only because I was nervous, I was still thinking about how she's like, nothing lower than a C. And I'm over here with a whole D, so I'm saying, yeah, I got a C. Mm -hmm. That made me so nervous, because I was like, what if they find out? What if they look at my records? Oh my God. So, I go home to my mama's house, and I do anything and everything to distract myself, because I was so impatient. And I was waiting for that phone call to come in saying I got the part. Not even knowing what part it was I was supposed to be getting because they never specified. Fast forward some hours because I got home probably like 2 or 3 o'clock. Fast forward some hours. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm like, all right, why they didn't call yet? Like, do they not like me? Did I not do something right? Like, what is this? Hurry up now. So then... 11 come around and start going on 12 and i'm still sitting up just waiting for this phone call and then nobody say nothing so then i'm like bro they didn't want me they really didn't want me like dang and that hurt my little heart my little sixth grade heart couldn't handle that so you know what i did your girl started crying <laughs> <laughs> 
so I just sat there and I'm like, they didn't want me. And I was chasing the bag, so you know that really hurt my heart. And then I fell asleep. Woke up the next morning. I go to my mom. I'm like, why I never get a phone call, mom? Why they never send it the bag? Like, did they just not like me? And then she was like, oh yeah, your dad texted me. She he said that they, it's a scam. So I'm like, it's a scam. Huh? Ah! So first, you already know. I went go call him. Ring, 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 dad. It's a scam. What you mean? He said he was like. Yeah, so they kept asking me for money and telling me I need to pay for all these trips and all that. And they need cash firsthand. And they don't have no proof or nothing. And I'm like... This is the goofy that these bitches is on. I don't have time for this. And don't get me wrong. Like, what he was saying was making sense. But I was so set on I want to be famous and get the bag that I didn't care. I was like, so? I'm about to be famous. I didn't say that. That's what I was thinking. And then he was like, "So yeah, I'm. I'm I don't. I can't pay for all of that, and it don't seem real. And I'm not. I don't want to like take the risk of getting scammed out of my money. So I'm like, all right, whatever. It's cool. And that really hurt my little heart for like a whole week. I was just sad about it. And then about two weeks go by, and I'm like, you know what? I need answers. Okay, because his little explanation wasn't enough for me. I wanted to be famous. That wasn't enough. So I do my little research. Da, 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 da. YouTube videos pop up. And this kid's my age up there. So I'm like, all right, let's see what they got to say. I go up there, watch the video. Scam. Scam, scam, scam. All the videos just say scam. And I'm like, bruh, he was right. I was really about to get scammed out of our money. I had no words. I was just sitting there like, <sighs> dang, that really hurt me. So then, you know, I gave up on it and I kind of just left it alone. I was like, hey, at least they ain't take my money, you know, it's all or whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much how I almost got scammed out of more than like $600 trying to be a Disney star. But, you know, stuff happens, you learn from, you live, you keep going. And, you know, I'll get my bag one day, so it's okay. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I almost got scammed out my money and became a broke bitch. YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, please don't take my video down, I'm sorry. But anyway, that's it for the video. If you like my story, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to become a little baddie. And go ahead, follow my Instagram. And don't forget to go watch some of my other videos if you haven't already. Because my new little baddies that are now part of family, y'all need to go get to know me more. So go ahead and watch those other videos. And that's it. Hope you have a nice day or night, depending on where you are. Stay safe. Stay bad. Dre the baddie. Out. I live my day, I live my day.